Hello and welcome to Aggregate, an open source Python package for solving actuarial problems with aggregate probability distributions. This session will tell you about the help that's available online, so it's a little different than some of our previous uh, sessions, no uh, online uh, Pythoning going on. So the help is available on uh, Read the Docs. If you go to aggregate.readthedocs.io, uh, you get to the help and it's structured in six parts. Uh, there's a getting started, user guides, API reference, the deck language reference, technical guides, and design and development. And I'll just go quickly through each of those and show you some of the contents. So getting started is really the contents of what we had in our first video. It covers installation, uh, the licensing, where you can find it, a little bit about how the um, help examples are uh, laid out uh, there's a number of code blocks you can see uh, with those code blocks you can copy the contents uh, with this button you can also get rid of the output so you can just copy uh, the input pieces that you want using uh, this button here um, the user guides the second section this is a, a very large uh, section and uh, it contains two types of guides uh, one is is description of mechanically how to use the software and how to access the functionality. So access uh, kind of guides. And then secondly, application guides that show you how to s use the uh, techniques that are implemented in aggregate to solve actuarial problems. It kind of alternates between the two. Uh, it starts off with two practice guides. There's a student guide and an actuary student guide. The student guide is uh, addressing the types of problems that someone might see in a course on short-term actuarial modeling uh, or the MAS uh, CAS exam, CS2 in the UK, um, tends to be more sort of discrete, uh, made up aggregate examples. Um, the actuary student guide is more for a working actuary and uses a more realistic uh, insurance uh, model as the base for the aggregate. Then we have uh, the 10 minute guide to aggregate. This is really kind of a wing through all of the functionality. It's not necessarily something that you would uh, read and digest at one sitting, but it's a good high level reference to uh, a lot of the functionality that's available. Uh, it describes the main classes there are in the library, uh, the severity class, the aggregate class, distortion and portfolio, uh, a number of the common uh, functions and so forth, and is a good kind of high level review of the uh, capabilities. Uh, then there's a number of sections for different types of actuaries. So there's a, a section for individual risk pricing. Uh, so this goes through applying a per occurrence and aggregate reinsurance to an account. Uh, illustrates, for example, in the US, how you could compute what are called the insurance charge and savings, the table L and table M that are used in retro rating for work comp. Uh, and it illustrates a, a number of problems that appear on the CAS exam part eight. Uh, reinsurance pricing um, uh, is an uh, application to reinsurance problems. Uh, so it looks at things like rating uh, sliding scale commissions or swing rated programs, aggregate stop losses and aggregate deductibles. And this is uh, illustrating uh, problems that are, appear on uh, CAS exams parts eight and nine. Uh, the catastrophe modeling section um, describes applications of aggregate to catastrophe risk, mostly the computation of uh, PMLs, both on an occurrence basis and an aggregate basis. And again, this covers materials that is on uh, CAS uh, exam eight and uh, nine. Um, the capital modeling is, is currently a placeholder, as is the, the strategy. Um, part 11 here on case studies describes how you can use aggregate to uh, build all of the case studies that appear in my book uh, with John Major Pricing Insurance Risk. Uh, so once you've downloaded and installed aggregate, uh, you can run a simple script to um, reproduce those exhibits in, in two web pages. And then from that, you, you will be able to see how to um, extend and build in your own uh, examples that you might want to look at. Uh, section 12, working with samples, shows how aggregate can be used from a sample uh, of that you might have had from other um, simulation software. You might have a multivariate sample of outputs, and you might actually want to use that and retain its correlation structure, uh, and you can uh, do that. Uh, you can also induce correlation from a sample that you pull from aggregate using the Amman-Conover method, 
and it implements as well the worst var rearrangement algorithm so you can see what the worst uh, um, the, the highest var you can get out of for a given set of marginals and then the last section 13 here published problems and examples goes through a number of papers and books and reproduces examples that they have and then also um, uh, uh, solves uh, problems that they have. So the point of this is twofold. One is to illustrate the power of the library that you know you can solve these types of problems and then also to demonstrate that you get the same answer uh, as was published in, in often uh, peer-reviewed uh, papers. And I draw your attention here particularly to, uh, there's a number of examples from the Lost Models book, so Cl Klugman, Panger, and Wilmot, that's on the exam syllabus for several actuarial exams. Uh, the Bannerman monograph, which I think is on the CAS uh, Part 8 exam. The Enterprise Risk Analysis book, the Bream et al. book, um, that is also on the exam syllabus. And then there's some miscellaneous other papers uh, at the end. So this is a uh, section two has a very large section and is a good place to get started both in terms of accessing functionality and in applying it to specific problems. Section three is the API reference. So this is the standard Python help where you strip the help strings out of the source code and it just goes through and covers um, each of the classes and functions and gives you information about all the arguments and so forth. Um, it's of <laughs> in honesty, not uniform uh, quality, but uh, it's mostly pretty good. And the uh, more commonly used routines are, are fairly well documented there. So that's a good place to go if you get stuck. And then you obviously have access to that online in Jupyter. You can just use the question or help on a function and it will reproduce the same information for you. Section four is the DEC language reference. So remember, DECL is the uh, programming language that I wrote it to in Express. Uh, aggregate distributions. Um, if you try and do it with arguments, you, you need a lot of arguments and you often don't need them. And it's not very um, intuitive. I wanted something that was much more intuitive and it sort of read like a, a deck declaration page um, definition of the line of business. Uh, and then you fill in the sort of severities and what have you. Um, so this section uh, shows you the, the keywords. Um, there's a, a list of, of keywords here. So occurrence, uh, limited, unlimited, you know, ag is a, is a keyword and so forth for building an aggregate distribution. And then it also has the grammar specification. So if you're used to uh, reading these, you've seen these maybe for other programming languages, it shows you uh, the, can, how you construct a certain thing. So if you want to construct an aggregate, it's generally going to be given by an aggregate, the name of the aggregate, an exposure clause, a layer clause, a severity clause, a current reinsurance clause, frequency clause, an aggregate reinsurance clause, and a note. And then you can follow through and see how each of those are created. Uh, there's also a rather nice uh, railroad uh, diagram that sort of shows you how you build up each of the, uh, each of the different clauses in the grammar. Uh, section five is a technical guide. Um, so this is covering the theory behind uh, the in implementation. It explains how everything works and um, uh, provide some background in, in probability, numerical methods, and so forth. Um, so there's a function on a basic probability about different sort of limited expected values, uh, quantiles and related risk measures that uh, follows some of the material uh, from Pricing Insurance Risk book. Um, there's the section 5.4 here it is the numerical methods in the FFT uh, convolution describes the underlying numerical method that is implemented in aggregate, how a distribution is represented as a discretized uh, distribution, and how's that, how that is computed using FFTs. Um, there's a primer on distortions and spectral risk measures. Um, there's a comparison and discussion of Bodoff's uh, percentile layer of capital method and uh, a couple of other um, uh, topics discussed here. And then finally, uh, design and development is just a very quick uh, overview of the, the structure of the help and then uh, some information around kind of the history of how I came to uh, develop this. So I hope you'll find this to be a helpful uh, resource. And again, I would uh, focus if you're, if you're a new user as well to complement these uh, videos, go to user guides and think about running through the student or actuary student guide run through the 10 minute guide to kind of get a view of what's possible and then dip into the other uh, guides that are shown here. Thank you.